All right, so we're hunting a different body of water today. It's a little bit smaller than what we've been doing the last couple days. We heard there were some decent bird numbers out here. We weren't really seeing any great numbers on the big water. So we went out of this private access that we have a connection to. It's a little bit closer to the point we want to hunt and it's going to be a pretty similar setup. The wind is actually shallow today, so we're not going to get surprised. And it should be, should be all right. Hopefully we can get on a few. Yeah, I can take care of it. Old Daddy Ringneck. Looks like somebody just walked over the old bridge. Oh, so it just turns in there. up in that chunk of pencil reed past that, that'd be more ideal, but I don't know, it was not much tail on them. I would just fill it back. Weasel, you know the new, newer Jurassic Park movie where the dinosaur kills for fun? That's a weasel. That's what they do. Well, trying new things doesn't always pay off. Especially with guests. There was guests. just not a whole lot of birds around today. and Some dudes had better shooting on smaller water to the north of us, but uh, hard to tell really what they were banging at. Most likely ring bills, but. Hard to say. Classic uh, line, you live and you learn. Yep. Yeah, that's something. Chet Anderson Stadium. We are one of three colleges in the nation with a lakeside football field. Um, so during our homecoming football game, if the team does win, we take full advantage of that. All the players and coaches run into the lovely mid-September Lake Bemidji water and sing the school fight song. So that is one of the cooler things about uh, Bemidji unique. college football. Yeah, one of the cooler traditions in college football for sure, I, at least, I mean, I would say. Because, um, yeah, that lake's colder than I could have. I wouldn't want to jump in there when they do. So what we're doing now is ducks droging off and we are going to use a little bit of cream of mushroom, just some typical Campbell's stuff. And we got some duck that's been marinating for a while. We're slicing it up pretty thin and we're going to fry it up in a pan. Got some noodles boiling and we're just going to fry down some onions or boil down some onions with the cream of mushroom. And it just all gets mixed together in the end. It's pretty good. It's creamy and it's a good way to utilize duck and especially diver. It makes it taste pretty good and we enjoy it. Yay. The duck in the fry pan, you just want to brown it on both sides, keep it pink in the middle. Wild game does not have a lot of fat in it, so you want to cook it usually medium rare so you do have some tenderness in it instead of making it, you know, really tough. Uh, and that's how some people really grow to dislike wild game is because they cook it wrong, and that's by cooking it well done. So you've always got to have some blood in the meat. So 
Mar marinade, what we do is we usually will just fill up this big glass bowl with a lot of marinade and put usually our ducks in there that we shoot the week previous um, and just kind of pick through them as the week goes on. Pretty much just soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, um, we got some Lowry seasoning, salt, garlic powder, pepper of course, a um, little bit of barbecue sauce, and then typically lime juice or orange juice because those citric acids really do break down the gaminess of the duck and cut that flavor out, which is really nice. So I'm just uh, putting some butter here in this pan. So you need three separate dishes when you're doing this. One you gotta be running the noodles in, one you gotta be boiling down your cumin mushroom soup, and the other one you gotta be browning the duck in. So I'm just about to put the cumin mushroom soup in, start boiling that down. Um, and then yeah, once everything is cooked, you basically just add it all together and let it sit. Yummy. It's looking good so far. Uh, so yeah, duck's getting brown, noodles are boiling, uh, and then you gotta boil it down the cream and mushroom soup. So we added the whole can, and then I added about a quarter can of water in there as well. Uh, and then it just boils down. Um, it's all soupy and whatnot, I guess. So, so it is condensed right away, so you do gotta add a little bit of water when you boil it down. So you just gotta make sure you turn them over. I mean, you're not gonna have um, all pieces on the same sides. So you just gotta make sure you keep on stirring to cook all sides of the of the cubes of duck. Um, yeah, just make sure you keep checking everything and stirring everything every now and then. It's kind of the name of the game. Um, every, this has gotten boiled down enough to where it should, you know, mix well when we put the noodles and the duck in there. Noodles just got done, so we're straining that off as we speak. The duck is looking just about perfect now, so everything uh, should be getting combined here real soon. Oh, Look at that, it's all coming together now. So once you combine everything, you just turn off the burner, put it on a non-heated source. What time you want to leave? Cover it up, let it sit for about five minutes, and then you guys are ready to eat. Yeah. Alright, looks about ready here, so uh, we're going to serve it up and chow down. Dinner served. Because I want mine to be noodles. Alright, what do we got here? <laughs> Duck stroganoff. <laughs> Hot, hot, steamy, yeah, homemade, straight from the bay. Straight from the bay. Tell us how it is. Yeah, check that out. My man's a chef. <laughs> it's good, good stuff. Real cheesy. Cheese? There's no cheese in there. It's like creamy. It's, it's creamy. Really? Yeah, it's creamy. creamy. <laughs> really cheesy. <laughs> Nah, there's like no wild game taste to it though, so you guys do a good job on that. So anyone who doesn't like the taste of duck just because of the wild game taste, check out this recipe. It's pretty cheesy. Try <laughs> something a little different. Off camera. Dude, this tastes cheesy. Like, actually tastes like cheese. Off camera. Well, it's a creamy or whatever. I'm sure it's got a lot of dairy in it, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's cream of mushroom soup. Yeah. It's just a lot of, a lot of thick. Dude, that's cream in there.